Hello there, Matthew Miller. On this coronavirus lockdown vlog, yes, day 33, and yes, this is the last day of level 4. I know I always do the videos after the particular day because I can get the news <coughs> on the day. And <clears throat> and yes, this is the last day of level 4 and tomorrow we go down to alert level 3. Unfortunately, it's not going to be much different. You may go, can go to the beach or go hunting within your region or fishing within your region. But the reason why we start on this page, coronavirus, these the seven principles you will guide away. Guide away, life is under level 3. What? Yep. Yeah. New, Zealand, New Zealand is losing its lockdown rules from strict level 4 to level 3. Yep, yeah, and here she is, though. And to the end, the Prime Minister, Jesse Arden, outlined the seven principles that will guide how New Zealand lives on the show. Yeah, the Jizzy are doing it. Yeah. Well, level one, firstly, you gotta stay at home. You still under house arrest. Flies, get the fuck off my camera. Excuse my French, people, it's just, just flies buzzing around my camera. I've been doing all my videos, don't have a mess, my house is a mess. I'm crying out loud and Oh, it's hard to get stuff in. Like I still live with my family, because otherwise I'm gonna be able to do those videos. And and then and the second the second principle is to work. And ask the people to work at home if they can walk. The thing is, I actually like to work at home. And the thing is, I got my job here making videos, going on blogs and that and reading. Some articles and that, and some blogging and that. That's my job, people. And also, I'm a beekeeper as well. And I do gardening as well. I just have planted some kale and beetroot as well, and some broccoli. Yep. Cauliflower. Also, I've had some seeds of onions, but they don't do very well at all. I will try it again. and. And we still want the vast majority of people working from home and children and young people from learning. It would be nice to work at home so you don't have to commute and that would be awesome if you can, yeah. Why would you want to work at a slave job with bosses that you don't like and that dog? Yeah. See, when we were on level 4, we went down to alert level 4 people. We had the opportunity and we can sort of garden and learn some skills and that though. There was also opportunity and in my story you can learn was doing fantastically well. And my new church has been doing it and it's also been an opportunity for me and and yes. And you also can learn from other people, but the problem is, but if you try to live on that's not social distancing. But if you just try to jab up your like, oh, okay. <laughs> so guys, oh, you spread embarrasses. You need to be locked up. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well. A little straight and yes, there's gonna be the new health and safety reward. You gotta be social just what <laughs> it was on the next principle level uh, on principle four. Exercises allow that parks and beaches are within region, but the I do need the jizzy I do that closer to home the better. Well, the beach is actually is like less than 10 kilometers from my home. So, of course, I can travel there. It's always good to go to beaches and enjoy nature. 
That's why I do go to the park to enjoy the nature, touch the tree as well, and make minimal trash walks. Key two minutes for anyone that's not involved. Well, it's still a wall. If you're arguing, like, shake your head, if you've got, like, a girlfriend or boyfriend, if you start arguing, go say, Oh, you not judge your dissident, you're spreading violence. If you start, like, meeting dads and then try to get loaded, Oh, you're not judge your dissident. <laughs> Man, I'm really making fun of the alcohol. The principal fire is to carry your bubble march. <laughs> They think we've got enough word. They say it's to kill your bubble as more as possible. <laughs> they forgot the word. Who's been writing it? Let's go back and look at the author. Had to say it, Tom, called Land or something, whatever his name is, man. You forgot the word. Well, that's okay. Sometimes I do forget some words in my blog. And yes, people do point it out if I do make some mistakes as well. So I can correct it. And I have pointed out the mistake as well. If you still watch my video and find out, oh, we didn't make a mistake. We have to edit the article. Well, I had this on video, mate. Only correct what needs to be corrected. That's the thing, you only correct what needs to be corrected. You don't make change unless it's freaking necessary. Or well, it's far best to just leave it as is. Unless you forgot where it is. <laughs> the fine point is that stay at home, so yeah, of course you have to stay at home when you're sick. Duh, stay at home. If you're sick, stay at home. Yeah, make sure you got some good supplies so you don't have to travel. If you got a weak supply of food, that's awesome. Because that means you don't have to make any trips to the supermarket as well. So, being pre prepared beforehand is absolute key. Growing a garden. Yes. Growing a garden. Of course you got to grow a garden. And let's move on to the next article. Hospitality businesses prepare for level 3 reopening. Yeah, I know you're all looking forward to it though, mate. Then. Well, it looks like this. A little fellow holding a table with a partner or something. And, well, I'm glad of you. Oh, you just say, oh, social distance. If they're like, I'm going to get them looking for a oh, they're not social distancing. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and it's called it's called customers to spend their saves on their favorite FREs. Yeah, man, fly the always flying into my camera. It's freaking annoying, and it just ruins everything. And man, I would love to spend my money like supporting the low cap choice. And why are those idiots are gonna go to McDonald's and buy their garbage? Man, if I man, if I see like news articles, I'm gonna be making fun of those people who go to McDonald's. That's what those people, <laughs> and then there must be those panic boys who buy those toilet papers. <laughs> yeah, next article. This one's from the Chatham Islands. Of course. Yeah, the town is hoping for an early release from lockdown. Now, of course, it is on April the 5th, I think on April 6th. And, but we don't have any case. Can you please just let it off early? Down there, too. Oh, no, can we do? This is for your own safety. You still want that house, man? It's for your own safety. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man, there's lovely girls, they just sort of want to enjoy their day, and boy. Well, they're probably like in their 40s or so, but they're still looking good. 
Hey, and they were looking good. They look good in the forest, but they're looking great. For the age, um, and yeah, the air channels found out of famous. Yeah, yeah, they should be off early from when they don't have any cases. Of course, they should be allowed to enjoy their day. It'll be sucky when be out to because you just. You know, right? Supply is desperate on toilet paper like everywhere else in the world. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Yeah. A COVID 19 essential worker court has been as, as high as 176 kilometers out in lockdown. That's probably like about. Yeah, it's just probably like about 100. And live 110 miles an hour. Wow. For crying out loud, he's not going as fast as 110 miles an hour. Wow. And they say, oh, we just need a boss on toilet <laughs> Making fun of the speeders. <laughs> Well, of course, he's in a Mustang. Mustangs are lovely cars, and. Yeah. Well, I hope they're not one of those panic buys or so, and they decide to speed up the show. Oh, we need to go and get some. <laughs> oh. Well, just like having a good laugh in that, though. <laughs> and there's a police officer though. Man, it's actually like a funny joke. When I then when there's a police officer pull out of a car, oh and why are you speeding? Oh toilet paper, toilet paper <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Must sustain drives out tomorrow there's a machine technician call on April the thirteenth on the same day Traveling at 160 kilometers an hour, which is still be about. Yeah, be 100. Yeah, that's just over 100 miles an hour. 144 kilometers an hour, that's like about. Yeah, that'll be about 89 <laughs> yeah, miles an hour. And 141 kilometers an hour. You might know uh, and the joy going back to the future. Oh, 88 miles an hour! <laughs> uh, yeah, back to the future. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, man. Well, I've been having some good laughs, though, and well, having some final laughs. I mean, I'm still on level 4. Why not? Well, that's for which we will get to that soon enough. And yeah, and there's a warning for that COVID coronavirus warning for online shoppers here to level three lockdown. Before the scans had increased by 25% in the last month as the country has gone to life in the lockdown. Yes, yeah, of course, there's going to be some pranks that's just trying to take advantage of people. Those scanners, those pricks, and that dog. And boy, there's even worse people like Bill Gates. He's even worse. Why did not even be reported on our media? Because he's been kicked out of Africa when he, as he tried to give, like, the people in Africa those polio shots. And, and in fact, I guess he ended up giving those people polio again. Find out the polio virus was the vaccine. <laughs> you think though, yeah, the vaccine was actually more harmful than the polio itself. Yeah, Bill Gates, he was getting, oh man, they want me to pay a dollar for reading the per week for reading the four weeks more. Let's see what I got to say. 
At this super crazy time, you would think we'd have enough to worry about, right? Sickness, redundancy and money concerns. But we can't take our eyes off the fraudsters. The COVID-19 crisis is a perfect opportunity for them to target us, especially when we're stressed and not thinking as clearly as we normally would. The types of scams we're seeing include phishing emails or texts pretending to offer updates or access to testing centres, fake shopping websites that take your credit card number and personal details, fake job websites asking for personal details, cold calls with offers of investments in industries experiencing heightened demand due to the virus, phone calls from scammers pretending to be health officials Asking for personal... Yeah, and there are a lot of it as well, and for health officials, yeah. And there's a lot of it as well. And, oh. Personal information or credit card details to pay for test results. We need to stay alert. With every email, text or phone call, stop and think, is this for real? Here's what you can do to protect yourself. Hover your mouse over an email address to check whether the address that pops up is the same as the one presented in the sender bar. Ne yeah, just hover your mouse over if it is the same. Never open an attachment or click on a link unless you trust the sender. Again, hover your mouse over the link to check whether it looks odd. If you're not sure, delete that email. Don't click links and text messages that you're unsure of. Cold calls with investment offers are illegal in New Zealand. Hang up and report the number and the business name to the Financial Markets Authority. Health officials will never ask for payments or expect payment for tests. If you receive a request like this, hang up or delete it. If you're suspicious of a caller, hang up and call the official number for the organisation they say they represent to check if the call was genuine. Before you order anything online, check these things. If it's a New Zealand company, check it's registered with the New Zealand company's office. Check when the domain name was registered. Does the company have a refund policy? Does the company have a physical address? Fraudsters never let a good crisis go to waste. Let's stay vigilant and keep our money and our identity safe. That's exactly true. Wicked people will always try to take advantage of other people. People like Bill Gates, he's trying to like, he's been like, been doing a lot of terrible stuff. He's an accident like, he's, yeah, trying to vaccinate the people in Africa. He can get with the polio vaccine to find out the vaccine was even more harmful than the polio virus, than polio virus itself. He's been like, been kicked up for all those terrible things he's done. He's a crook. He should be dealt with as well, and I don't know why he doesn't get reported on the media as well. Because then he works for the World Health Organization, he's one of the second biggest funders as well. And of course, yeah, China, they do a lot of covering up as well, and and they don't get reported as well, what China's been doing, and What China thing here and they really been doing and we're probably gonna get a lot of flack and so it'd be trying to be hard to be finding the algorithm. Well that's how it's gonna go and well I'm just gonna really just end it from here. Well people, if you're in New Zealand I hope you really survive this house arrest and I know we are still in it as we enter and little stress just so we have a bit more freedom as well but you know, they're going to try and tell us to social distance though. And they're going to just tell us, say that oh, life is ain't going to go back normal unless there's a vaccine available. Well, for me, I ain't going to be taking any vaccine, never, as well. And, and of course, there's going to be some pricks around trying to take advantage of people. And I'll be keeping in contact with those idiots as well. And and people, this is all I've got to say for now. It's Matthew Miller, sign off, over and out.